Hello, Build 2016. Can you guys hear me? Excellent. So I know all of you here have a ton of devices with you. I know the stage has like six devices anyway. Uh, and I can assure you that is only for demo purposes because personally, myself, I carry one device now. And that device is my Windows phone, which I can use as my PC. I can use it as my entertainment center. I can play games, music. I can do everything powered by this device because of Continuum for phone. So here we're going to show you two things. I'm actually going to have the AV guys switch over to this Continuum dock, if you could. Could we switch to the Continuum dock? To the box, please. Excellent. OK, so what you're seeing right now is kind of the landing experience for Continuum for phone. And what I'm connected to is this Microsoft Display Dock, which I'm going to put under here. It's just this box. It looks like this. This is a Microsoft Display Dock. It works very similarly to a laptop dock. And this has two ways to plug to a monitor. It has an HDMI port and a DVI port. And I can plug a wire from this into an external screen, be it a monitor, a TV, or a wall in this case. Um, and then I can take a USB Type-C cord and plug my phone directly into the front of this box. And what I see when I do that is this landing experience, which is a very PC-like, desktop-like experience powered by my phone. So I also have a keyboard and mouse connected. And I have it connected directly to this box as well. I have three USB ports here, which I can connect keyboard and mouse. I can connect external storage um, and other peripherals directly to this dock, just like any other, any other PC. So I have a keyboard and mouse that are paired to the dock up here that's already hooked up. And with the keyboard and mouse, I can launch the Start menu, just like Windows. This is Windows. And this start screen you see is actually the start screen that is directly from my phone. So it's my familiar apps, my content, my live tiles in the same order and organization that I have them on my phone. So it's really easy for me to customize that how I want to use it, both for my phone and for the big screen on Continuum. So I'm going to go ahead and launch an app here with the mouse. I'll launch Outlook Mail. Because when I get to work, that's the first thing that I do. I launch Outlook and check my email. And I'll go ahead and open an email. And you'll notice that even though this Outlook mail experience is being powered by my phone, you're actually seeing the full desktop experience, just as if you are running this universal Windows platform app directly from a PC. And that's because with the universal Windows app platform, I can actually write an app that adapts based on screen size so I can get things like this desktop Windows uh, Outlook experience powered by my phone. Now, my favorite thing about Continuum is that I can actually still multitask across screens. So while I'm checking my email, I often like to look at my to-do list in OneNote. And with Continuum, I can actually go ahead, I can go to my phone, I can launch OneNote, and I can have that running at the same time that I'm powering a mail experience on the big screen or running any other app. So I can interact with these at the same time. I can open other emails. I can scroll around. Uh, and so I really can multitask across these two screens. So Universal Windows Platform apps are great. I love using them. But all of you guys are developers, and so you care a lot about running things like Visual Studio to do your day-to-day -day, day -day work. Uh, I also, though I am a program manager, uh, I do use Visual Studio every day. And there's a couple of ways I can do that on Continuum. The first way is to use a remote desktop app to just launch Visual, uh, connect to, say, a PC of mine. And I can use Visual Studio through that remote PC. But I'm excited to show you a new feature called Azure Remote Application. So with Azure Remote Application, my business, in this case Microsoft, can host Win32 applications in the cloud and allow me, their employee, to access them on my devices. 
So with Azure Remote App, I can actually pin Visual Studio 2015 right here to the start screen of my Windows phone, and I can launch it just like any other app. And I apologize if this takes a second to load. I had to restart my phone right before this, so it might take one second. But here we go. That was actually pretty fast for a fresh load of Visual Studio. Uh, so this is being powered through Azure on my Windows phone with Continuum. Um, again, while I can continue doing other things on my phone. I can launch Start. I can launch any other app. So with Azure Remote App, I can actually, from work, use my phone to develop apps. I can access any of my company's um, resources through Visual Studio to be productive as a developer or a program manager in my case. By the way, one other thing I wanted to point out was Citrix also has a web client these days that you can use in the Edge browser on Continuum. I won't show that here, but we do have a Continuum booth over in the middle of the room about uh, where you can come check out things like Citrix up and running. So the next thing I want to show you is a new, another new feature. I'm going to actually switch over to this laptop if the AV guys can help me out. Excellent. I'm going to switch to another phone. So last Thursday, I was at my parents' house for dinner with my husband. And when I was there, I got this urgent email from my boss that said, Liz, you must uh, build this slide right now. I have a presentation at 7 AM tomorrow. You need to build a slide. I was like, great, I'm at my parents' house, and I only have my phone. How am I going to build a slide on my phone? So. I thought about just doing it on my phone, but I had to copy and paste some charts, and I didn't want to do that. And I didn't want to open documents attached to my work account on my parents' PC. So I thought of a new way to do this, and this is with a new feature of Windows 10 that I don't think any of you guys have seen yet, um, which allows me to project to any Windows 10 PC. So in the old days of Windows 10, pre what's coming soon. I could only project from a PC, like I'm doing today. I'm projecting things to new screens. But I'm about to show you that I can actually project directly to this Surface Book as though it was just another dumb screen. To do that, I'm going to connect wirelessly. So if you can see the phone, I'm going to pull down Action Center and click the Connect button, if I can find it. This Connect button brings up an app that searches for all of the wireless audio and video endpoints around me. You can see here my Surface Book. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. We'll give it a second. And here we go. I have a toast that says, can my phone connect to this? Yes, it can. And here we have my Windows phone projecting directly to my Surface Book as though it was a totally different screen. I'm not actually running any apps locally on the device. I am only projecting apps that are running on my phone onto this device. So now I can continue to use this Surface Book as though it was my personal device, powering only my applications with my data um, on top of the rest of the operating system. So you can actually look here. I could um, literally minimize the window that the, app, that the phone is running in. And I'll show you this. But this is just a window that I'm projecting to on the Windows operating system. So the desktop is still existing completely independently. So for the sake of the demo, I'm going to re-maximize this window. So my boss had asked me to edit this file. And so I was like, OK, great, I can do that. Um, and I knew that the file is in Dropbox, because that's what uh, people sometimes use for work. I'm sure some of you guys use Dropbox for work. And I love using Dropbox because they have a beautiful universal Windows platform application. Um, so because I have that, it automatically works beautifully on Continuum. And so here I can open up the presentation that my boss wanted me to edit. And I could preview it in Dropbox. They have a great preview feature. But I'm actually going to go ahead and open the document in PowerPoint by going to Open With. And here you can see that it will open in PowerPoint, which again is a universal Windows platform application. So it scales and reflows and looks beautiful on the big screen. And to add the slide that she wants me to add, 
I'm going to scroll down. She wants me to add a chart to a slide that looks like this. So I can duplicate this slide just like I would be able to on a PC. I'm actually going to go ahead and open Excel so I can copy and paste a slide from there. And here, I'm going to use the keyboard to click Control-C and Alt-Tabbed back to PowerPoint, Control-V. Uh, one sec. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. The demo gods don't want me to copy and paste today. Use a context menu. Beautiful. So I can drop my chart in there with copy and paste, just like a PC, even though this is running powered by my phone. Great. So I'm going to switch back to my Continuum doc. Can we switch back to this doc? Great. So we still have Visual Studio. That was what we were running before. So I don't know about you, go, you guys, but I don't like to just work all of the time. I actually like to have fun when I go home after work and do things like watch media or play games. So one thing that I like to do is just sit back on my couch and watch things, uh, watch TV shows. And I don't like to have a keyboard and mouse on my couch, but I want to be able to use Continuum. So I actually, we actually have a feature called the Continuum app that allows me to use my phone like a mouse and keyboard. So here I have the Continuum touchpad app. And whenever I touch this, it basically moves the mouse just like a touchpad on a laptop. As you can see here, my finger is actually driving that cursor. So when I'm sitting on my couch, I can use this to go down to the Start menu. I can tap to click. And then I can do things like launch Hulu on the big screen. And again, Hulu is just a universal Windows platform application. They, like all the other apps that we've shown, did nothing special to run on Continuum. They just work because that's the power of the universal Windows platform. And so here I have Hulu. It looks beautiful. And I can select the show I want to watch and watch it. And I can use full screen video. I can make it personally through an entire movie, no problem, powered by my phone. While I multitask, by the way, I can open other apps on my phone at the same time. And this works great. I'm not going to show it here because it's uh, too time consuming. But again, we have a continuum booth over there. So if you want to come play videos and check that out, uh, definitely do that. OK, so one last, or I guess two more things I want to show you. Uh, I also like to play games. I'm really bad at gaming. I will kind of give you guys a warning. But one thing I really like to do is play games on my phone um, and now on the big screen. So because of the Universal Windows platform, any games that are written on the Universal Windows platform actually automatically work on Continuum. Surprise. So, woo. Sorry, guys. I might have to close this and reopen it really fast. So games that are built as universal Windows platform games automatically work and run on the big screen. And the great thing about Continuum is that I can plug in new input peripherals, such as a keyboard and mouse. And so once this game loads back up, sorry about that, I will go ahead and show you how you can play a game with a keyboard and mouse. And um, I'm not very good at it. but. This is great because this game I'm going to show you called Shadow Fight 3. It's a fighting game. And so I will be playing some computer opponent. And it's really built, it was built first for the phone, so optimized for being able to touch and use your finger to, to fight the other guy. And once it gets uploaded, I will show you how it works seamlessly with a keyboard and mouse. And if it doesn't work soon, I'll skip to something else, and I'll show you guys this at the end. Great. OK, so here's Shadow Fight. I am the guy in the blue. And right now, you can't see it, but I am using this keyboard. I'll just hold it up to move the guy around. And um, I can basically use this to beat this guy up. And I'm really bad at games, so I apologize. He's probably going to win. Um, <laughs> but this works really well with keyboard and mouse. 
But, you know, I'm really bad at this and this is awkward, so I really would like to be able to use this Xbox controller, which luckily, with this Continuum dock, I can do that now. And so I can actually pick this controller up, I can beat this guy up with the, the, the A and B buttons like I would expect to, and I can play this game full force, look how beautiful the graphics are, like this, with my Xbox controller plugged directly into my Continuum dock. And I'm sorry I'm gonna lose, but I really am bad. Um, <laughs> so, you guys should definitely come play this. We're gonna have this set up over at the Continuum booth, and you guys can come play for as long as you want. It's really fun, it works really well. Yeah, I just beat that guy up. Um, <laughs> so, come check this out. This is something we're really excited about, and we hope inspires any of you that are game developers out there to come and build games with support for the Xbox controller running on Windows Mobile. Okay, so one last thing, and then you're free to run around. Um, this dock is really great for being productive, kind of on the go, or, or not on the go, sorry, be productive at my desk, or I can plug it into my TV and um, I can be productive on my TV or I can watch movies or whatever, but it's not great if I want to travel to meetings or if I want to be productive on the train or productive on the bus. And so Isa and I, Isa is another uh, program manager on my team. Hello, Isa. <laughs> uh, Isa and I are gonna show you a very new, a new brand of hardware that we're really excited about. So you wanna hold this? So we don't have a good way to show you this, but this is one of the first instances of a laptop form factor for Continuum specifically. So this is not a PC. This is a screen with a connected keyboard and touchpad. And my phone, if you can kind of zoom in on the phone here, is plugged with a USB Type-C wire directly into this laptop form factor. And that desktop that you're seeing is not a PC, it is my phone powering that screen. And so with this, I can actually be productive anywhere I want. And I'll tell you that this is the one device that has made it possible for me to use my phone 100% of the time. I no longer need a PC of any sort in my day-to-day -day job. I can just use this device and all the docks I have across my offices to be productive anywhere. Something that's cool about this device is that there are also USB ports on it. So if you can zoom in here. And so here we have a few things plugged in. Thanks. Uh, we have a few things plugged in. We have a USB mouse, which plugs into the USB port. So that works great. I can have an external mouse if I don't want to use the touchpad. And we also have this external hard drive stick plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can use that. I'm going to launch File Explorer a universal Windows platform application, so it scales and looks beautiful on any screen. And I'm actually looking at my external hard drive right here. I can access the files on it, I can launch them, and I can edit them from that external drive, just like I would expect to on a PC. And so we're really excited about this form factor of hardware. We think this will really bring a new, um, a new generation of computing with your phone. And that's all we have for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for attending. Isa, myself, and a few others will be over at the Continuum booth shortly. So please come ask us questions and try out some of these new scenarios for yourself. Thank you. <laughs>